Last time, on SV Full Send, we fix our Navalite's wiring issue, purchase a new outboard engine, and go shooting and mudding in Osceola National Forest. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> so yeah, we uh, we looked at that sign where the Nazi saboteurs had come in 1942 off a of U-boat. We went to four miles south, and this is the dunes where supposedly they well, supposedly they did they did come ashore. And well, that and they would they bury uh, explosives and explosives money and for uniforms. two years. They came in on their with uniforms in case they were captured, uh, and then changed into civilian clothes. And then they're supposed to be hitting some railway lines and a bunch of logistics hubs in the U.S. But, uh, yeah, so, somewhere here. Somewhere around here. And a couple hundred meters. Kind of crazy. Thinking about a U-boat right off of there. Fifty yards off the beach. Out of the eight, six of them were uh, executed pretty swiftly. We, four, four here and four in Long Island, right? Americans don't take kindly to Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> so we just got a call about our inflatable dinghy um, that had just arrived, even though we haven't even gotten confirmation that it's shipped. And this is the big old bad boy that just delivered her. Let me go check. Want to grab the keys too? Uh, Not bad. Kind of like slide it. Yeah. All right, let's go check out that dinghy. That was odd. We, uh, we were still awaiting confirmation that it shipped, and lo and behold, it arrives this morning. This is amazing. <laughs> sitting there posting today's episode. Yeah. <laughs> Here she is. Got this worthless, worthless thing that's supposed to like sit there or whatever. Got the Hypalon repair kit or PVC repair kit since I believe this is PVC. Got the oars all set. Well, this little unexpected timing means we can splash down in the water very soon. So once we get this blown up, figure it out, go talk to the marina. Get a, get a date scheduled for dropping in, hopefully this weekend. Head on over to Holland and get that rigging tested. Filling her up. So apparently direction said not to fill one side completely, do like 50-50 and then 100-100, uh, so. Liking how she's looking so far, she's super light. We were able to easily carry her off the truck, so. She is all blown up and she is sexy. Woo wee. Got this for, this is where we're gonna stick the, the fuel. I'm gonna have a line going all the way down to the bottom, pop it up. It's gonna be beautiful. And then we got this big old thing. Look how nice and big that storage locker is. And it's a good thing we went with it because with the horsepower is over there. Great. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna need it. We go. We go see when we can get back in the water. What yeah, do you think? Because we gotta be in uh, high tide and slack tide. So try and get the schedule. Waiting six months in the six months and six or more months in the waiting. Well, so a couple other things before we go in the water. The rudder had some uh, clamps that need to be we put on, they were supposed to be critical things that we were supposed to do, according to the survey from back in September 2018. We haven't done it, so we'll go back there and take a look at it. Um, it was pretty rusted when I last looked, but I uh, just took out all the 
uh, the bedding inside of my cabin and uh, I'm going to reach back. There's a lot of fiberglass stuff still, so it's going to be really itchy, so I'm going to vacuum up after. There. Um, yeah, that's not good, and I think that's kind of what helps hold the, uh, the old rudder in there, which is pretty important, I guess. But let me get that first one off, and I'll start vacuuming, and then I'm going to wipe all that down, get all that rust out of there, but... Ooh. Alright, so did that, got the clamps on, I'm reading it more. It was saying that it was kind of corroded on the uh, on the quadrant, which is this guy. It was kind of corroded on there. Saying to clean it off, so I just wiped it down uh, decently. Uh, got the, it looked like a little bit of salt build up. Uh, but now I'm gonna be putting waterproof grease on everything. Uh, and so I've just been starting to apply that and I'm gonna put it all around. really bad I'd probably get the halyard. just for uh, you want to shake this just so we have record of it just shake this so we might need a new bushing but we'll do that in Panama yeah not right now it's time to get moving had to take the uh, backstage shackle completely off and it's starting to scrape. We didn't have to do that on the way here, but uh, you can kind of see up here now. So back using the uh, Interlux we had to get the bottom of the keel so we got off in there because that's been covered that's crazy so we just opened up this thing that we haven't used forever this can of black anti-pollen i think that's the copper because it's green yeah it's doing some weird stuff oxidizing as it's touching the oxygen i guess yeah it's pretty you two cool. folks out there does any scientists know yeah Yeah, if anyone actually has an idea what, what the heck is going on with that, that'd be pretty cool to know. Look at how, like, that backside is just thick as all get out. Should probably have gloves on again. Oh, well. And I guess, like, the Maybe. breathing apparatus and goggles, but... Yeah. Screw it. Yeah. A little bit more cancer before we leave, just to remind us of Krinko Springs. Yeah. Alright, so we're going in. We, uh... It's gonna drop in, it's gonna lower in just so we can walk off the back. It's gonna, then it's gonna lower into the water. And we're gonna check for water ingress. And then once we're here, good with that, they're gonna lower some more. We've got lines situated on the starboard bow. We're gonna throw that off. They're gonna walk us out of the main little drop area. We'll tie off and then we're gonna throw our dinghy on. So fingers crossed, hope and pray that uh, no water comes in so we're good to go. You're good. This relay box used to go here. I don't know how, but we broke it. So we had to fabricate this. We didn't fabricate it, but we made it work. I think they're doing it now. Are we in? No water ingress I see here. Let's check the other side. That's really good. It looks good here too. Nothing. Um, through 
pulls it open. Parallel. Parallel. That's closed. That's but closed. then, no, that keep that one. The big one needs to that's, stay closed. Because that's for the water maker, right? No, that's for the old toilet. But that, that, that's a wooden plug hole through there. Water will start squirting if you open that. Okay, but this is open. Okay. No, All right, no leaks. Oh. I know, right? Uh, <laughs>to the boat and my phone automatically connects to the music and they're rigging it. I'm trying to listen to them. All of a sudden I just press down in my pocket to turn it down. It just immediate or like this big loud beep. And I think much of it and just kind of left it alone. Then it did it again and I did it again. All of a sudden Green Coast Springs police just showed up. They're, they're, they came asking to, they came to the dock and they just yelled Jason. Asking for Jason. Yeah. So they must be able to get all my GPS location yeah. and that's pretty crazy. That's insane. <laughs> You're here like less than five minutes, too. Yeah. <laughs> the rigging, you want to kind of yeah, walk so through? Yeah, so basically the guy went through, said everything is good except for the uh, Genoa Force Day. It's got some corrosion. And then as he went up, he said everything looks pretty good, minor, minor wear and tear. But he said since this is the original rigging from 2002. We think. We think. We don't know. Yeah. But he goes, if it is the original, you should probably... Think about getting it replaced because about it they suggest every 10 years or so. But uh, given the fact that everything seems all right, we got to talk about it. But feeling all right, you know, rolling the yeah, and rolling with what we have. He said everything looks good. Everything's. Because that's gonna be like 10,000 bucks to do. Yeah, that <laughs> it might be a a lot of money maybe when our do. Patreon gets better. Well, what we are doing is um, we've got a slight bend at the top of the mast, so we're gonna have these guys. Um, come properly tune yeah they're gonna tune them up make sure that each is the same on each side so it'll be a straight mass and then we also found out that our backstays aren't really needed because of the way that the, the main um, spreaders are done it kind of holds together and the backstay is just like added security which we get in case we ever get gale force winds yeah right here i didn't really see it it's like this oh. like all that right there he's like you don't really know what Inside. Let's see if uh, you and YouTube world think uh, think any different. Let us know. Uh, yeah. I know mom and dad probably want us to get it all redone, so it's 100% safe. But uh, well, we're ready to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time to get this mainsail down now. Yep. So you would go to like 20% on a swept back like this. Okay. Um, but then you also don't want to go too much with it being a in mass roller curling. Okay. Um, so what I'll probably do is maybe go to like. Let's say 45, and that'll put us at about like 17, 16%. So 43 is 14, 46 is 18. So maybe 44, 45. Okay. You only do the outsides? I'll start with those, yeah. With those, okay. And then if the inside needs it, so they're even. This one's 41 also. Okay. I'll do that all by eyeball too. Yeah, yeah. Bert and Jack. It's not bad. I mean, 
what I'd probably do is maybe put, I'll start by doing a full turn on each one and because each one will add a little bit more. But. The pin's got to come out to be able to turn. Yeah. I like to use these, um, they're duckbill pliers. Cool. They're way better than just straight up needle nose or nice. other ones. We're at 42-ish there. We go to like 44. All right, so the starboard shroud is at 44, and the port one is at 43 on that uh, on that uh, tension I think thing. It's the other way around. It's 44 and 43. Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. Oh, but we're, and we're at 15 percent of our uh, break. Break, break, break strength. Break yeah. strength. So and he said he chose that because it's an older bit of mass uh, rigging. So. He want, I think he said normally you do 20%, but since it's older, he went a little bit less. So now we know, uh, in case we got to tune something on the way. I don't yeah. know if that, he said that thing's like 10 bucks. Inspired. Yeah. Battery's about to die. But remember, we should probably grease that. I don't think it's been greased in years. As you can see, gotta get some of this stuff taken care of. Just put that there, and then today, I noticed this little guy is coming undone. So hopefully, hopefully this mainsail repair doesn't cost too much. Now it's time to fold it. Right, we're at Wind Dancer here. Just got the sails fixed. But good to go. Tom does really good work. But uh, yeah, now we get to go Monday. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and help support us on Patreon. You guys silly? I'm still going to send it.